Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have created a chart that makes use of an underlying grid of values upon which the values of the data series are charted, you can set the formatting of the chart axis, grid, grid lines, and value scaling within the selected chart. To do so, select the chart and then just choose Chart from the menu bar. Chart Options, and then select the Grid command. You can also just right-click on the chart, choose Chart Options, and select the Grid command as well. In the Numeric Axis, Grids, and Scales dialog box, you can format all of the axes in your chart. You can click on the names of the available axes in your chart, which are listed on the tab shown at the left side of this dialog box, Data Axis and Group Axis. Depending on what type of chart you've elected to create, not all of the axis types will necessarily be available. The possible tabs, which could be shown on the left side of the dialog box, are Data Axis, Group Axis, Data 2 Axis, X Axis, and Series Axis. You can click on the desired axis tabs to set the options for the selected axis, which appear as the tabs along the top of the dialog box. The available tabs which you can use to set the appearance of the selected axis are General, Scales, Labels, Numbers, and Grids. On the General tab, you can set the general formatting options, such as the placement and appearance of the selected axis. On the Scales tab, you can set scaling options like the minimum and maximum values to display on the axis. You can also choose things such as the base measurement unit and the major and minor scaling units. On the labels tab, you can select whether or not to display the axis labels and the minimum and maximum labels on the axis. On the Numbers tab, you can set the display of the numbers used to show the values of the selected axis. The Grids tab is used to determine which grid lines to display within the chart grid area and what additional settings you wish to specify for their appearance. Once you've set the appearance of the grid lines within the grid as you'd like, click OK to close the dialog box and apply the selected axis settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.